Hello, welcome back to Delight Channel, an NGO with a vision of world transformation one man at a time, one community at a time. We have been talking about succession planning over the last couple of weeks. And last week, I started a four principle conversation on how to achieve seamless and successful succession planning. Last week, I started with the first one, which is to create that mindset. For most entrepreneurs, it doesn't come straight, it doesn't come automatic. You have to be deliberate about it. That is principle number one. Now, principle number two is that you must communicate that principle. You must communicate that principle. Everybody must know about it, whether they are senior staff, whether they are junior staff, whether they are investors, they are bankers. It must not be something that is hidden. In every opportunity you have, every meeting you hold, end of year, beginning of the year, performance appraisal session, let it be clear that you are looking for talent, you are looking for people, that your big dream is to exit the business. You create that exit conversation right from the beginning. Why? Number one is that it all of a sudden comes alive in your mind. You know, like I said, it is not easy, it's not automatic. And even though you have tried to create your legacy, if you maintain and keep it right inside you, it will not acquire that life of its own. But by sheer talking about it, talking about it everywhere, imagine when investors come and before they sit down for a week, they're already hearing how you are planning succession. It gives them faith in your business. It gives them confidence in, in, in your direction. So you can't keep it to yourself. Talking about it gives, it gives it a life of its own on one side. On the other side, is an invitation to your employees. That young man who needs to give an extra for that project to get done has something at the back of his mind, something to look forward to. That young lady who is spending that extra hour taking that stuff home, sacrificing the weekend, sacrificing the holiday, he gives that lady something to look forward to. He gives hope. He gives fear for the journey. So, communicating it is critical, is essential. Communicating it also goes beyond just verbally talking about it. It needs to be entrenched and documented in the way your organization runs. There has to be documents that speak about it. There must be a process for it. And I will get that in the, next, in the next bit. But the point I'm trying to land here is the fact that when we talk about communicating it, it is not just verbal. So the second principle is the succession strategy, the succession ideology has to be clearly communicated. Everyone that has anything to do with your business must be aware of that thought, that desire, because it adds a lot of value to the journey. Make that principle number two. The third principle is institutionalize it. Yes, it's nice to communicate it. Yes, it is nice to let it be top of mind and top of mouth for you everywhere you go. If you do not institutionalize it, it is nothing but just a propaganda. So, this issue of institutionalizing it is very broad. I certainly won't be able to finish it this week, but I'm going to get started. So, when we say institutionalize it, what do we mean? We mean that it has to be baked into your organizational procedures. The first thing is that there must be a business process or business processes that run your organization. Listen, the idea of succession planning is not a reckless abandonment. It's not an, it's not an idea that having spent 15, 20 years in your business or maybe 40 years, just carry your bag and you run. And then you close your eyes and you wish and pray that the people you are handing it over to will do it well. 
That's not what we're preaching. That is actually suicide and recklessness. If you will be able to run a successful and seamless transition and succession, you must start now to build business process. What are business processes? This is the documentation of the step-by-step -step activity that is required to deliver the value that happens in your organization. Meaning that from the beginning to the end, everything is documented, everything is reviewed, everything is signed off, everything is enforced. Why is that very important? In the process of doing that, you will be able to see one, the weaknesses in your process. Now, while you are there, you can pick them and, and break the gap and stop it. But if tomorrow you plan not to be there, then today is the time to build the business process and ensure that it is well reviewed, well um, optimized for efficiency, for effectiveness and for control. If you leave your business with gaps, even while you are on seat, there will be leakages, there will be abuses, there will even be outright theft and fraud. Not to now talk of what happens when you move out and you no longer come on a day-to-day -day basis. You will just wake up one day and the business you've worked for for over 40 years will be gone in an instant like that. So, you need to invest time, energy, and money to design, to document, to implement, to enforce, and to continually optimize your business process. He helps you to become more efficient because you will see waste, you will eliminate them. He helps you to become more effective because you will be, it will be clear to you what exactly you are trying to achieve and you will stop all those journeys that do not add any value to you. It will help you with control because you will see gaps and leakages and you will be able to correct them. Meaning that even while you are alive and well and at work, you will not be the policeman for the company, but you will be building a system that can check itself, control itself, and run efficiently. If you start it now while you are here, what are you trying to do? You are trying to build that culture. So the guys who are there now, they will learn how to do it. Then as you enforce it, the new ones coming in, all they will be saying is, this is how it is done here. And the system will catch anybody trying to abuse it, catch anybody trying to sabotage it. And once they realize that this system works, in a few years, while you are still there, you don't have to worry about any of those things anymore. You can invest most of your energy into expansion and growth and new business development and what have you. So, the very first building block under the institutionalized it principle is that you need to have business processes for your organization. There are a few more I will be talking about under institutionalize it so you sure do not want to miss the coming videos and as usual please feel free to write in it shows it gives us some love and then it shows that you are there and if there are things like i keep saying that you'd like us to cover let us know or questions you want us to answer let us know we will work on them if you have to talk to you directly we will and if you if we need to take it as a as a new series we sure will and i hope to see you next week as we continue the conversation on succession planning, I'm always delighted to be here with you every week. Thanks for being here. But until then, don't ever forget, please don't ever forget that t -Mark is still my name. Yes, it hasn't changed. And all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. I'm sure to see you next week. Thanks for being here. Bye.